Welcome to Deep Universus. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Today, we journey to the far reaches of our solar system to a planet that has fascinated astronomers and dreamers alike for centuries, Neptune. When you gaze upon images of Neptune it appears as a stunning deep blue orb floating serenely in the darkness of space. Its color is so vivid and inviting it almost looks like a sapphire jewel set against the black velvet of the cosmos. This image suggests a solid terrestrial world, perhaps similar to Earth or Mars, where you could imagine standing on the surface and looking up at the swirling clouds. But that's a grand illusion. Neptune is nothing like the rocky planets we know. Neptune's captivating blue isn't from a solid surface, it's from its thick, dynamic atmosphere. The planet is shrouded in layers of clouds and gases, constantly shifting and swirling in powerful storms. As an ice giant, Neptune is primarily composed of gas and fluid with a thick atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen, helium, and a dash of methane. These elements create a world that is more ocean than land, more cloud than rock. Methane plays a special role here, it absorbs red light from the sun and reflects blue, giving Neptune its signature mesmerizing color. This is why Neptune appears so different from its neighbor Uranus, despite their similar compositions. Unlike Earth, Neptune lacks a solid surface, it's a world without a ground floor. If you tried to land, you would simply sink deeper and deeper into its endless clouds, with no solid ground to stop you. Descending through its layers, the pressure and temperature rise dramatically. The gases transition into a slushy, superheated ice, a state of matter that barely exists on Earth. Here, water, ammonia, and methane are compressed into exotic forms, creating a truly alien environment. Scientists believe that deep beneath these layers, a small, rocky core might exist, surrounded by exotic, super-pressurized materials. But no probe has ever reached these depths, so much of Neptune's interior remains a mystery. This distinction between gas and ice giants and rocky planets is key to understanding our solar system's diversity. Neptune, with its unique structure, challenges our ideas of what a planet can be. Gas and ice giants like Neptune differ fundamentally from rocky planets like Earth. While Earth has mountains, oceans, and continents, Neptune is a swirling, ever-changing world of gas, ice, and storms. The universe presents a tapestry of worlds, each more fascinating than the last. Science lets us see them as dynamic, complex, and profoundly strange, places where the rules we know on Earth are rewritten in spectacular ways. Neptune is a beautiful trick of light and chemistry, a planet that reminds us how much there is left to discover in our cosmic neighborhood. Imagine you're an astronaut on a daring mission, approaching the mysterious blue world of Neptune, aiming to land on its surface, a feat no human has ever attempted. As you begin your descent, you're immediately confronted by Neptune's legendary storms, some of the most violent in the solar system. Winds here can reach astonishing speeds, over 1,200 miles per hour, far faster than any hurricane on Earth. Your spacecraft would be battered and tossed by these relentless gales, shaking violently as you struggle to maintain control. In these conditions, a controlled landing is not just difficult, it's impossible. The atmosphere is simply too chaotic. Desperately searching for solid ground you'd soon realize there's nothing to land on. No surface, no rocky terrain, just endless clouds and haze. Neptune is a colossal sphere made of swirling gas, icy particles and mysterious liquids. As you descend the atmosphere grows denser and more alien. The gas transitions into a strange soupy fluid, and the pressure outside your craft builds at an alarming rate, squeezing the hull from all sides. It would feel like sinking into an endless, bottomless ocean made of substances you can barely comprehend. Hydrogen, helium, water, ammonia and methane, all mixed together. The deeper you go, the more the pressure mounts, reaching levels that would crush even the strongest spacecraft ever built by humans. Your descent would be terrifyingly brief, swallowed by darkness and pressure, ending not with a landing, but with total destruction, obliterated in the depths. Neptune isn't a planet with a surface. It's a place of constant transformation, where gas becomes liquid under crushing pressure, and that liquid eventually becomes a dense icy slush, deeper than anything found on Earth. Your journey wouldn't end with a triumphant touchdown but with your craft vanishing, lost forever in Neptune's ever-changing depths. Instead of landing, you'd be absorbed, becoming part of the planet's mysterious interior, never to return. Neptune stands as a humbling reminder of the universe's power and mystery showing us that not all planets are created equal, and some are simply not meant to be explored by landing. Beyond lacking a solid surface, Neptune is unimaginably cold, a world where the very concept of warmth barely exists. 
Its deep blue hue hides a realm of extremes, where the environment is as alien as it is inhospitable. As the most distant planet from the Sun, Neptune receives only a faint trickle of solar energy. Sunlight here is a distant memory, barely illuminating the planet's swirling clouds and casting a perpetual twilight over its atmosphere. Temperatures hover around minus 373 degrees Fahrenheit, just a few degrees above absolute zero. Any unprotected human would freeze solid in an instant, their breath crystallizing before it could even leave their lips. This lethal cold is only part of Neptune's fury. The planet is battered by ferocious weather, with winds that can reach supersonic speeds, over 1,200 miles per hour, making Neptune home to the fastest winds in the solar system. The Great Dark Spot, a colossal storm system, rages across the planet. It's so vast it could easily swallow Earth whole, churning the atmosphere with unimaginable force. These storms whip up clouds of frozen methane ice, scattering them across the upper atmosphere and creating dazzling ghostly patterns that drift endlessly in the planet's high-altitude winds. Neptune's thick atmosphere is made mostly of hydrogen and helium, with no oxygen to breathe. The air is utterly alien, and even the most advanced spacesuit would struggle to keep a human alive for long. Methane and other hydrocarbons fill the air, making it not just unbreathable but actively toxic. The chemical haze would quickly overwhelm any unprotected visitor. Survival time on Neptune without advanced protection would be less than a second. The cold, the pressure and the poisonous atmosphere would combine to end life instantly. You'd be frozen, crushed by the immense atmospheric pressure, and suffocated all at once, a brutal reminder of Neptune's hostility to life as we know it. From afar, Neptune is a breathtaking jewel, its blue clouds swirling in the darkness of space. But up close, it's a world of danger, chaos and extremes. It's a true giant, majestic, mysterious and utterly unwelcoming to visitors. Neptune's fury is a testament to the wild diversity of our solar system and a stark warning to any who might dream of setting foot on its surface. Let's explore the grim reality of an unprotected human on Neptune. Exposed to its atmosphere, you'd face extreme cold, causing instant frostbite. Water in your cells would flash freeze, rupturing cell walls. Your body would become brittle and frozen in a fraction of a second. Simultaneously, crushing pressure would squeeze your body. Eardrums would rupture, lungs collapse and bones snap. Death would be violent and immediate, yet you'd lose consciousness gently from hypoxia. Neptune's atmosphere lacks carbon dioxide, so suffocation would be peaceful. A human on Neptune faces a perfect storm of lethal conditions. It's a place where physics and chemistry make life impossible. This thought experiment highlights the delicate conditions required for life. Neptune's lethality underscores Earth's precious hospitality. Neptune's gravitational influence played a role in Pluto's reclassification. Pluto, once the ninth planet, was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. The IAU's criteria for a planet include clearing its orbital neighborhood. Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's, violating this rule. Pluto exists in a 3-2 orbital resonance with Neptune, preventing collision. Neptune's gravity dominates, making Pluto its gravitational subordinate. This relationship influenced the decision to refine the planet definition. Discoveries in the Kuiper Belt prompted a choice, redefine planets or expand their number. Neptune's gravity shapes the outer solar system, affecting Pluto's status. It's a testament to the power of gravitational dynamics. The Pluto debate highlights science's evolving nature. Definitions change as knowledge grows, science is a process of discovery. The IAU's 2006 definition aimed for clarity with three rules. Critics propose a geophysical definition, focusing on intrinsic properties. This would reclassify Pluto and other bodies as planets. It would also elevate moons and dwarf planets, reflecting diversity. The debate forces us to reconsider what planet means. Strictly applying the IAU's rule could challenge even Earth and Neptune's status. Definitions have gray areas showing science's strength in questioning and refining. The conversation drives understanding forward. Science isn't static. It's about better questions and accurate descriptions. The debate continues shaping our view of the cosmos. Neptune teaches critical thinking, challenging our intuition. It looks solid but isn't. It seems serene but is violent. Its relationship with Pluto questions long-held definitions. This questioning is the heart of the scientific method. Neptune serves as an example against ideas like the Flat Earth Theory. Observing spherical planets challenges baseless claims. Education should teach how to think, not just what to know. Critical thinking helps evaluate information and recognize credible sources. 
The universe is a laboratory for honing these skills. Neptune inspires wonder and intellectual humility, urging us to observe and reevaluate. Neptune's story illustrates why science is thrilling. The reality of Neptune is more exciting than the illusion of a solid planet. It's a world of extremes, no surface, supersonic winds and crushing pressures. The scientific process transforms our understanding. Neptune's mysteries drive us to explore and question. Unanswered questions fuel curiosity and push knowledge boundaries. Neptune is a cosmic lesson in critical thinking and a key player in our solar system's story. The universe is intricate, surprising and magnificent. The truth about Neptune invites exploration and awe. Keep looking up.